Well, shalom, shalom. I'm Barbara, and I'm always short and sweet. Well, modern Baal worship at the Tower of Babel, and this all happened July 28th, uh, just last year, 2022, at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, England. Is this the return of the pagan god Baal? Well, in the beginning, and there was a display of the shards that came down from the heavens from this blown-up Luciferian star, and that represented the devil falling to the earth. And these shards fell all over and were taken up as crystals by the New Age worshipers. Then a massive bull with red eyes comes into the stadium, and these women were pulling the chains like in slavery. Then the women drop the chains, and the bull gets away, and he's angry, and everyone's uh, running away in fear. So next, a woman holding a New Age crystal of light uh, tames the bull, and her name is Stella. So Stella is wanting to appease this thing so that they're not killing uh, everyone and by this Molech-like bull. And so she approaches him with that crystal in her left hand, and she puts her hand up to the nose of the bull, and the bull bows down to her and lets her touch that ring. So then she climbs up to the top of the bull, and the woman sits on the beast. Revelation 17:13 says, Then the angel carried me away by the spirit to the desert, and there I saw a woman sitting on a red beast. So everyone encircles uh, this image, uh, this beast, uh, snorting and red and smoke coming out of him, <clears throat> and they literally worship him with uh, those crystals in their hands, and they're doing a New Age worship ceremony before this Molech-type bull, and all of the commonwealth is joining them in worship. And here you'll see the nations represented there with the different colors, and then uh, who is witnessing this? Prince Charles the Third, and he is now King Charles. So they prostrate themselves to the bull, the definition of prostrate is stretched out with face to the ground in adoration or submission. Well, here's another image of people prostrating themselves to a bull-like figure. Well, his name is Baal. Remember the brave three men that did not bow down and did not prostrate themselves? That was in Babylon. You know that story about Daniel. So the Tower of Babel is rising again, and all the nations have their names across the tower. Each one of them were lit up over there uh, as part of that Tower of Babel, and they're all united together. So they're portraying the rebuilding of the Tower of Babel in our day with Lucifer being worshipped and ruling over the nations. Here they are, 72 nations were represented. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wandered after the beast. Revelation 13, 3. So they all came to the base of the tower, and they went up inside of the tower. And then they formed a huge disco-like uh, ball of light at the top of the tower. And that uh, represented the reconstitution of the Luciferian star that had blown up earlier at the beginning of the ceremony. So the bull raised up on his hind legs with a bright beam of light that goes from his chest to that ball at the top of the Tower of Babel. So they are rebuilding the Tower of Babel and putting Lucifer as the all-seeing eye and the king over this whole world. And the people are to worship through Molech, its bull idol. Well, Baal is Yahweh's enemy. And the story of Baal worship is long, complex, and related to other figures such as Molech. And uh, with that being said, um, he is identified as the enemy of Yah in the Bible. And it is exactly for this reason that the occult elite still reveres Baal to this day. He represents the ancient gods of the past who were appeased using child sacrifices and, and sacred prostitution. And things the elite still practice today are these same things. 
and they are leading modern mankind to worship the devil and his ancient Molech imagery, and they are bowing down and worshiping Baal right in front of our eyes. They aren't even trying to hide it anymore. Well, Judges 2, 10 through 14 says, And all that generation uh, had forgotten what had went on with their fathers. And the people of Israel did what was evil in the sight of Yah and served the Baals. They abandoned Yahweh, the Elohim of their fathers. And they abandoned Yahweh and served the Baals and the Ashtoreth. So the anger of Yah was kindled against Israel, and he gave them over to their enemies. Elijah gave the challenge, and Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long will you halt between two opinions? If Yahweh be Elohim, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. 1 Kings 18.21 for I will remove the names of Baals from her mouth, and they shall be remembered by name no more. So there will be no more names of Baals mentioned, Hosea 2.17. So please like if this is a blessing to you, and share it with your friends that love Yeshua, and look for the links below. So he said, come out of her, my people. Come out of Babylon. Uh, and this is actually Babylon. They're rebuilding the Tower of Babel with their countries. Uh, and they're mocking God. And Re Revelation 18, 4 says, Come out of her that you be not partakers of her sins and receive of her plagues. And remember, I'm short and sweet, and at least back next time, yeah, I'm willing.